Five, four, three, two. All right, welcome back to Fast Track Tech Talk. Where today we're going to go through the installation of our two-tier ground mount. We're going to be installing eight modules today. Um, one of the great things to do when you get to site, after laying out where your uh, where your feet are going to be put into the ground, where your penetrations are, is doing a little bit of prep work ahead of time to help install the to help make the install go smoother. Uh, one of the easiest ways, starting with your pivot plates, is of course just preloading it with your T-bolts and the flange nuts. You're going to keep these nice and loose, but at least doing a little bit of work ahead of time is going to save you a lot of time uh, once once the legs are in place. So. We have four T-bolts on, on each plate with four of the flange nuts. We've got a nice, simple, easy, and it's going to go a heck of a lot easier on the install time as well. All right, for now, we're going to put these aside. We're going to get uh, the L-feet mounted to our front legs, and then we're going to start actually putting this, uh, this bad boy together. Thanks. All right, now that we have our anchor bolts uh, secured, our wedge anchor is secured into our concrete foundations. What we're going to do is attach our foundation feet to the threaded, uh, threaded rods that we have exposed. Uh, each of your ground mount uh, leg kits comes with, two, well, it comes with four of these feet. Two for the front leg, two for the back leg. They fit nicely over top. Washer, nut. Just tighten it into place. Just going to leave it loose for now because we are going to try to, going to be locating our front leg into that in the gap between our foundation feet momentarily. Uh, there we go, second one. And we are now good to start building the rest of our ground mount. As you can see, we've got the rest, we've got the, uh, the other four feet all ready to go. And we'll, we'll start building right away. Thanks.